Foo! Foo! When I was a youngster, probably about eight, nine-ish, I got into ninjas, hardcore. And I would run around with my cousin Paul, I would run around in ninja suits. When we went over to his house, we'd hide up in a tree and then when cars would come by, we'd swing out into the street right in front of them on this like Tarzan pole and the, and the people in the car would go crazy, <laughs> go crazy. We would uh, lay down in the back of his dad's pickup truck with slingshots and when a car would come by we would sit up nail the car with our slingshots and then lay back down and then we'd hear people come out of the car and go what the fuck and they'd look around and we'd be shitting ourselves laughing we would also go around in yosemite national park we would be in ninja suits most of the time and we had these big knives that we would wear and i remember one one night we were just running around and this lady was on the porch of one of the cabins you could rent and she just started screaming ah! and my cousin and I were like what the hell we're just a couple of kids with ninja suits on now, the first thing you get into when you're a ninja usually is the stars ninja stars so I have a younger brother I took my dad's sheet metal snips and made myself a bunch of uh, ninja stars out of my brother's Tonka trucks. I guess when you uh, pull out your Tonka trucks and there's like stars missing out of the, the surfaces of the Tonka trucks, he got suspicious. We would take those ninja stars, we'd throw them into everything. If you were inside the garage and it was light outside, there would be all these beams of light coming in through, from the outside because of all the holes from the ninja stars. The second weapon I really got into was the blowgun. My parents would take me, and I don't know why they took me, I guess they'd just have shut me up, but they would take me to this martial arts store called Musashi. I saved up all my money from report cards. I was a good student, and I would buy ninja stuff. Well, I remember buying about a hundred dollars worth of ninja magazines. This guy in San Francisco, he was a dentist, but on the weekends he would teach ninjutsu in Golden Gate Park. And one of his articles was about how he made blowgun darts. So I was pretty good at making darts. And my lungs were developed for blowgunning. And I did that by taking three drinking straws and taping them together end to end. And before bed, I would plug my nose and hold the straw through my hands and I would breathe through three straws and by doing that you increase your lung power so I would I had very good blow gunning lungs for my age so I, I had built several different blow guns including I had my my shorty blow gun that would fit into my jacket and I would often bring that to school with the, like these little darts they were not meant for, uh, you know, for killing or anything. And they were just meant for kind of, I don't know, zapping. My friends and I started having blowgun wars where we'd use these little darts. And if the blowgun hit you on the skin, it would probably stick in, but it wasn't going to do any damage. It would just be a little poke. My buddy down the street and my little brother. It's always good to have a little brother to, you know, practice on. And, you know, I mean, I loved him, but he also made a good target. And blowgun wars eventually stopped. It was because my buddy Kyle shot his blowgun and it hit my little brother right here. And, you know, at that time, we're not wearing goggles. So he was like, oh, I almost blinded your little brother. And we were like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't be playing blowgun wars. And it didn't stop me from using blowguns. It did stop us from being so casual about what or who we blowgunned. The neighbors at the time were these like college age guys. About four of them rented this house next door and either they were leaving or they were kicked out or whatever. They were moving and so they decided to have a rager party. A lot of people came to this party so their backyard was filled, the music was loud, 
my parents were really not happy. And you know, since I didn't want my parents to not be happy, what I thought was a really good idea, maybe to disperse the party somehow. We had a two-story house. Went up into my parents' bathroom and started shooting blowgun darts into the neighbor's backyard. I probably launched about 10 of those stunner darts. I don't think it had much of an effect on the party. But anyway, it made me feel better at the time, like I was doing my duty as a suburban ninja. And my parents were really cheap, so they had, when they were digging holes for trees in the backyard, they didn't have any place to put that dirt, and I guess they weren't going to pay someone to get rid of the dirt. So what they did is they ended up putting that dirt in the front yard and building these mounds. As a boy on a bike, riding over mounds is fun as hell. So we would ride over the mounds, but my parents would get pissed when just some random kid would ride over the mounds. One day, these kids were riding over the bumps in our front lawn. And instead of telling my parents, I decided to solve the problem right then and there like a ninja would. Because a ninja doesn't, isn't going to wait. Ninja doesn't need help from someone else. That's Ninjas are resourceful. So, pulled out my medium-sized blowgun, you know, my kind of, my assault blowgun. Pulled out one of my favorite darts, my lucky dart, you know, with a good-sized uh, needle. Inserted the blowgun dart, poked blowgun out of window. <laughs> you don't want to, you want to, and all of a sudden, one of the kids took off riding very quickly. You know, he like accelerated, like ring. I was like, okay, well, they're not uh, riding over our front lawns. Mission accomplished. I'm sure my parents would have been proud. Later that afternoon, we are headed out. I had taken karate before, but I did not like karate. So we were on our way out to go visit a kung fu place to see if I could take kung fu. So we're walking out the front door and all of a sudden I see two cop cars pull up across the street. Now the, the kid across the street had an older brother and that older brother was a, was a punk rocker and he would often get in trouble so I thought nothing of it. Well, as I'm walking, I'm standing there in my parents' car. I see the kid, one of the kids that was riding their bike, hmm, and his dad, hmm, get out of the back of the police vehicle. So I was like, oh, shit. So I run in the house, and I go, mom, mom, I, I did a bad thing. And uh, my mom, mom said, what? And I said, uh, yeah, the police are uh, outside. Uh, I blowgunned a kid. And my mom's like, what? You blowgunned a kid? And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I shot a kid with my blowgun. And so I walked out there with my mom. The police had already crossed the street and were walking up to our house. And so we met them by the mailbox at the curb. And the cop had the dart in his hand and apparently the dart had stuck into the kid's stomach and stayed there i don't know how long but must have been long enough for him to get home he had the dart and i looked at the dart and i said i use those like it was one of my tools like a ninja tool like it was my job or something the police had solved the mystery the police asked the dad of the child, would you like to press charges? And the dad said no. And I must have apologized or something like that. But that was, that was the end of the police situation, I guess. The disappointment my parents had in me was was pretty pretty heavy duty they gave me a little speech and then they took my blowgun away i found the blowgun about a week later hidden in the closet i realized that my ninja career was probably not going to be the best decision so 
I quit my blow gunning. That was the end of it. And uh, instead got more into uh, ex making explosives.